Welcome to Reflections and Wrap. Today we're going to try something really new. We are going to have our own game show called Passport or Pass. We're going to take two travel companions and we're going to see how well they know each other. And we are going to try this out on our dear sister and brother-in-law. This is Mary, Jim's sister, Mary, Dr. Mary Vale. They both live in Melbourne, Australia. And her husband, Chris KP. So, now we're going to interview one of them and see if the other knows the answers. Who wants to be first? You so, okay. When you first start to travel, Mary, we're going to be talking about how early you get to the flight. Do you like to get to the flight nice and early, say four hours early so that you're not sure what's going to happen, but you'll make it no matter what? Or are you kind of a just in time, I'll get there an hour, maybe an hour before, they'll wait for me, or two hours, it's plenty of time. Two hours, plenty of time. Two hours, plenty of time, okay. Oh, but it depends on how easy it is to get the next flight if we miss the flight that we're on. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> That's just me. <laughs> So if you have a connecting flight, it might ramp up to four, six, ten hours. Oh God, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, two hours and fifteen. Minutes. Two hours fifteen. Minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Question number two. We're talking pizza here. We're Americans, you know. We gotta eat our pizza. What pizza topping, when you're in some far flung, flung place, what pizza topping is your choice? Pepperoni all the way. Uh, maybe a local cheese and sausage, or whatever the waiter suggests. Bring on the lard. Margarita. Margarita? <laughs> For us non-Italians, that's basil and mozzarella. <laughs> okay. And the final question for you, Mary, is... When are you at your crabbiest while you're traveling? Could it be first thing in the morning before you've had your coffee? Um, when you know you need to be somewhere, getting a little anxious, or when you can't decide where to eat. Don't mess with my coffee. Don't mess with your coffee. I kind of agree with that one. Alrighty then. We're going to see how Chris does with your answers. Thank you. Alright, so Chris, I'm Jim, the other half of Reflections and Route. I don't know how I just magically appeared on camera, but here I am. It's a miracle. Yes. Uh, I'll ask you some questions uh, about traveling. Give me your answers, and later we'll see if Mary really knows you as a travel companion or not. So, uh, while you're traveling, on a typical day of traveling to a new place, if you're looking at your schedule, how do you set things up? Do you play it by ear? Whatever happens, happens. Do you load up on the sightseeing checklist and then party all night? Um, or maybe just one museum in the morning, and then maybe a nice lunch later. Yeah, that, sound, that sounds best. I would like to know what all the options were, so I'd like to know what all the sightseeing things are, of but there's no way I'm gonna do lots of them. Yeah, there'll be one or two keys, and a good lunch is, is important. And I, I like to have a bit of fat in my day, too, a bit of time to sort of, you know, drift Definitely. and whatever, yeah. Yeah. All right, second question. It's a little bit more personal. <laughs> good. Uh, so you're going out on a 10-day trip. And you're packing. You're thinking about your packing. Mm -hmm. um, how many underwear do you pack? Do you take exactly ten? One for each day? Um, just a couple. You can wash them along the way. Uh, or underwear? Don't even think about it. No, I would think about it. Oh yeah, <laughs> big time. Yeah, uh, it depends. Um, I'm not sure that I have ten sets of underwear <laughs> at all. Certainly not ones that would you know hold together um, <laughs> under the under the stress of travelling, but so ultimately I would like to have clean underwear every day. Now if that means that I have to take uh, you know um, a number of, of changes that can divide into the number of days, so five, um, and, and then have a wash halfway through or something, I would do that. Yeah, um, but I would need to also make sure that I could in fact wash them somewhere. If that wasn't certain, I'd be very uncomfortable. Okay. Okay. And your last question. Uh, okay, so this last question is also a little bit personal. <laughs> While traveling, how often 
do you need a shower? Daily. Daily. Every day. Yeah. I mean, Twice yeah. a day? No. Um, if I if I couldn't have one every day, that'd be okay as long as I knew and I could plan for that. Okay. I would prefer to have one every day. The only reason I would have more than one a day is if I was, you know, bathing. I guess. Sure. Um, generally speaking, there one is one is good. But you certainly couldn't go every three days. Oh, I, that would be difficult. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, that's all the questions I have for you. We'll okay. get Mary out here, and we'll see how well you guys. So now we've got everybody's answers. We're going to check you out to see how well you know each other. So Chris, how many hours does Mary need before a flight? Does she need four hours before a flight? You know, there might be something that happens, or is it two hours enough? Or is it, yeah, I, when I get there, you know, I'll get there in time, I'm not worried about it. An hour is perfect. At the airport, you mean? At the airport, check it in for that flight. It's, it's absolutely not whenever I get there. Okay. Uh, it, and I feel like two hours wouldn't be enough either. I, th I think she'll want more than two hours as well. A minimum of two hours. Okay, so A Mary's... minimum of two or, or are, we, are we reaching to four? Because... I, yeah, I, four seems like a lot, but I think that, yeah, I think, I think she would start. Two would be the, the beginning and it would gradually, in fact, you know what she'd say? She would basically say... The plane leaves at eight. We better we better be there at six. Actually, make it five thirty or five. It would, so it would end up drifting longer and longer over time. <laughs> well, you can show us your answer because that's exactly what she did. She started with two, and by the time she finished with her answer, was at least two fifteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I would have to say that's a pass for the passport right there. All right, mm. second question: We're Americans when we go on. Let's face it, we're going to have pizza sometime on our travels. <laughs> it's going to happen. So, what kind of pizza is Mary going to order? Pepperoni all the way? Or are we going to get, you know, local cheese and sausage? A little taste of the local? Or? Or, are we going to ask the waiter and whatever he suggests we're going for, bring on that lard? No. <laughs> nah. She's going to ask for the simplest easiest, ideally with the fewest toppings imaginable, um, it would be margarita. <laughs> Possibly with pineapple if that was an option. And if there was someone else, if I was there perhaps applying peer pressure about local produce or some sort, that might happen. But basically, yeah, give me a margarita and I'll have okay. a piece of it. Let's see what Mary said. Margarita pizza! Margarita pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Dead Perfect. On. Passport. Absolutely. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. So when and when Mary is traveling, when does she have her crabbiest? Could it be early in the morning? She needs her cup of coffee. Could it be um, when she needs to get somewhere? Time is clicking away. Or when you guys are deciding where to eat? That is extremely difficult because. I can. Oh wait a minute! Don't even try and say she's crabby during all oh, three no, of those. Oh no, 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 no! It's crabby s. Yeah, no, yeah, no, no. Because I can, I can, I can point to tangible examples where she has been pretty off the boil in each of those scenarios. Okay. I was afraid of that. Uh, but not, but that, that's not necessarily normal. So crabbiest, okay. most reliably crabby. There you go. Most I would reliably. say first thing in the morning before coffee. Oh. Okay. You hit it. On <laughs> the mail. Well, yeah. Mary, you've got a lot to live up to her because yeah. he's got your passport. <laughs> Do you have his? Yeah. Okay, Mary, we're going to ask you how much you know about Chris now as a travel companion. Uh, when you're scheduling a day, typical travel day, uh, what's he going to do? Is he just going to play by ear what, you, what he's going to see, what you guys are going to do that day? Is he going to load up a checklist full of the sites and things we need to do and then party all night? Um, or is he more of a, maybe a museum in the morning, a nice lunch, and then later on, maybe something else in the afternoon? What's the first option again? Uh, just play it by ear, whatever comes along. It'd probably be a play it by ear, but he's happy for me to make the plan. <laughs> Depends on if you have your coffee yet or not. Yeah. 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 What if you want? I'm going to play it by 
Alright, let's see what they say. Yeah. He wants to know yeah. what the uh, well, we'll like Chris Well, explain. yeah, but left to your own devices, you would play it by ear. No, I don't know that I would. I think I, I want to have I want to have things, a Just thing you. or two, a target okay, of some sort. Well, you have noticed that? You, you do like you do like plan. Down okay, so this one got a little bit more personal. Okay. Uh, when when you're packing for a ten day trip, yeah. uh, let's say putting things in the bag, how many underwear is Chris gonna pack? Is he going to pack one for each day? He needs a clean one each day. He's got to have ten. A um, couple, and you can plan to wash them along the way. Or whatever, underwear. Use it or don't. Oh, no, 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 no. no. He's, he's going to pack the underwear. But we'll probably... Depends on a ten-day trip. Ten days. I'd yeah. say pack about a week's worth and wash them along the way. Wash them along the way. Don't think he packed ten pairs. That's Very good. That's exactly what he said. Yes. It's got to have the clean stuff. It's got to have the clean but stuff. Why, why would I not pack 10? You don't know 10. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. Yeah. 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 Maybe a little bit related. I don't know. Uh, so traveling for several days. Uh, how often does Chris need a shower? Are we talking every day? He needs a shower. Twice yeah. a day? No. Uh, or would he go three days? Yeah, no, I'm going to say every day. Yeah. Every day. What, what they're asking is my preference, not what you prefer. That's <laughs> 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 right. So I, yeah, I don't know that we've had a three-day stint where you haven't had a shower. Well, we know you have a trip to Iceland. Yeah. Correct, to yes. Iceland. Yeah, what's yeah. that going to look like? Yeah, and, and camper van. Sure, in your camper van there yeah. is no... no I'm not opposed to him going three days. And I think he could go three days without a shower, and that would be okay. Preference, I think you're going to prefer your shower every day. Yeah, let's see what he said. Yes. It's a shower every day. Yeah. Passports are passed. You guys did it. Chris got a three out of three. Mary got a two, two out of three. Two, two and a half out of three. Wow. We'll give you the stamps. <laughs> All right.